have a you um does not have a you <laughs> so the you, fucked up like show this, um type of shit. Goes, don't leave the live now don't do it don't do it hold your pantyhose go after we're done here you can find it in our stories too so true. if you want to continue watching after this live is done in the next 10 minutes we're gonna get into the dares right at the end so if you want to watch the craziest part of this episode stay tuned stay tuned but you need to go back to serena's stories after this click the tag for the fucked up show fucked that's up in show. her story right now yes but we're gonna get right into it so that you guys can get some fucking entertainment so today we thought we'd start off a little bit different uh differently different different a little bit different ish ish yeah different Nailed it. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, we haven't done this in a long time, but they're a little <coughs> rusty, if you know what I mean. A little rusty, but so we want to start off today a little bit differently. Rusty and busty. Amen. You're rusty, <laughs> I'm busty. <laughs> so, um, throughout Kayla and I's friendship, we've realized that we experience a lot of crazy shit that's like actually not normal. Um, <laughs> like actually not normal. It should be honestly on like reality television or honestly. a movie, like. I've literally had so many people, once I tell them stories, they're like, this should actually be a movie. Like, let's make this shit into a movie. Um, because it's just too wild. Um, so, we thought that we could start, like, kind of talking about, like, some of the crazy shit that's happened to us. Maybe you guys can relate to some of this. Yeah, we also want to hear your crazy stories. I think maybe we'll feature some people if you think yeah. your stories can beat our stories. Yeah. Shoot us an email, actually. Send me a, just send send us us a DM paragraph. to the fucked up show. Yeah. If we tell a story and you True. think your story beats ours, then we'll feature you and you can tell your story. Did you just turn the AC off? Yeah, I had to because it's too loud. I have a sweat to death. Yep, we this is gonna be bad. We're fucking doing lives in a sweat box. Oh, just kind of a lot on the camera. Uh, way too hot. Our little Canadian asses can't handle this. You can't handle the heat. No. Get the fuck out the kitchen. Heat. I'm already. God. Was that was bound to happen. <laughs> the new camera we just bought just went flying all over the floor. <laughs> Love it. Story of our lives. Just as loud it outside. So much for that. It's great. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. We opened the window and um, Neto. I really hope we get like a slight shoot. breeze. Uh, it's way too hot here. It's beautiful, but too hot. Listen, However, I don't, I don't want to complain saying? though. I can't complain, honestly, because I'm so happy to be here. But back to the moral of the story. So we have a lot of crazy stories. So on our lives and stuff like that, we want to kind of discuss some of these crazy situations. And honestly, a lot of them, some of you could probably relate. Today, we want to talk about like the the worst nightmare with a photographer. Like the worst experience that's happened. Well, the worst ones I can think of, because yeah. honestly, I've had so many yeah. terrible experiences with photographers. <laughs> Unfortunately. But today, I got one that's really jumping out. I can me. think about that, photographers who are watching. Don't be fucking. If you're a photographer and you're watching this, you're about to learn today. Yeah. And also, if you're a model who's watching this, or you take photos of photographers, whatever, um, learn from our mistakes. <laughs> learn from our mistakes and don't be dumb. Don't be stupid. Just don't yeah. be suspicious. Listen to our stories. You might honestly relate to some of these um, situations. Yeah. So, I'd love to hear more model experiences yeah. about experiences with photographers or 
photographers terrible experiences with models because mm. we all know True. there are some high maintenance bitches street. out there that are probably a fucking nightmare to work with i can't even imagine yeah. so. i'd actually be interested to hear that i would also if you're a photographer yeah. let us know um okay so kayla should we start with you or do you sure. want to start? All right. Okay. Tell us your your photographer nightmare. So like I said, I've I've been shooting for the last like w- since I was like eight. So a while. We'll just put we'll just leave it simple. I've been shooting for a long time, and I've shot with a lot of different videographers, a lot of different photographers. Mind you, I've also shot with some really amazing photographers and videographers, Amen. but there's been some bad ones along the way. Like in the beginning, you're like experimenting, you're taking like collaboration content, you're willing yeah. to work with. You know, you don't know what you're doing. You you don't know what you're doing and you don't know what to look for. So when you're young and you don't have a huge following on Instagram, you're just like, you'll take whatever collaboration shoot you can get. And when you're a pretty girl, there's a lot of predators out there. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So I lived in Toronto a couple years ago. And when I, like six, seven years ago, I lived there and I was, this was before my Instagram got big. Some photographer that I met through a guy I was dating at the time said he would shoot me and his stuff was like mind-blowing He had really really great stuff amazing photographer So I go to his studio and it's like somewhere in some like factory like <laughs> Industrial area. I have no idea where I'm going. I get there, go through an alley this creepy ass alleyway I walk in the door and he's like just came in the corner smoking a joint drinking tequila and I'm like young at the time I was pretty young and I was like okay like this is weird this is really like casual not that professional gave me a yeah. bad vibe right off the bat he's like here do you want to smoke this joint do you want to drink and he was like procrastinating and procrastinating it just seemed like he was like trying to get me drunk and like take advantage of me so I was like I was stupid and gullible and I'm like yeah sure okay I'll have a drink I just kind of was like yes person yeah I just wanted to like appease young, people naive. young and like uh-huh. whatever loosey-goosey so I was like sure whatever let's have a drink I'm like five shots in I have I have, <laughs> I have only a, an edition of this story later which I found out after about this photographer specifically oh boy. but I'm like wasted. Okay, I have to turn this off. I'm sorry. These are neighbors are blasting music. There's blasting music outside and there's, a, there's and an, ice cream, an ice cream truck. Okay, so, continue. Five right. shots deep. I'm five shots deep and I start, sh- we finally start shooting. I'm like wasted. And he's like, I wasn't comfortable with doing implied stuff. I've never shot nude at this point in my life or shot implied stuff. So I really wasn't that comfortable with it. But he's like, you know, taking pictures. He's like, okay, maybe you should like take off your top now. Maybe you should take off your bottoms and I'm a yes person. So I was like, yeah, okay. And I'm like uncomfortable yeah, but also with someone it. someone like, in like um, a position of power says that at the time, that like, yeah, that would be a power position. And honestly, he had a huge following at the time and like everyone in Toronto knew who he was. And I was like, okay, yeah. I just want to get great shots and I want this person to like me. And I knew he had like brands and stuff behind him. So I was like, whatever, all right. So I'm shooting, I'm taking my clothes off. I'm not comfortable with it, but I'm like going along with it under the peer pressure of the situation. And then I'm like on the floor on my knees and he's like, okay, now start finger banging yourself. I was fucking mortified. I literally got up and I put my fucking clothes on and I was like, I gotta go. And he's like, why are you rushing out? stay here he's like grabbing me he's like pulling oh my me God. i was like what in the fuck like, don't ever do that fyi to the photographers watching don't touch no. the model don't touch don't. And, like, and if you want to adjust something be like hey is it okay if i adjust this like strand of hair right here ask do not ask just fucking touch, touch someone yeah and like especially when it comes to like r-rated content like you know what girls are comfortable with it and what girls aren't you can you've got to be able to read people's social cues and body language this fucking guy could not read body language or like social cues clearly at all because i was not comfortable in the slightest and when i got up and left he's like still grabbing at me to come back i'm like fucking swerving all over the place because i'm like (laughs) drunk fuck and yeah and so then later years later i find out now about a year ago this guy is like going to jail and has like sexual assault charges makes sense yeah and definitely makes uh, sense. i guess he puts ghp in girls drinks no shit so yeah. do you think he put anything in your drink oh, for sure 
after the five shots, you were always stumbling around. I don't even know if I around. had five shots, but I was yeah, like, was fucked. we were just like swigging casually out of the bottle. Mm -hmm. But I was like pretty fucked up, and I used to drink like seven days a week and be able to really handle my alcohol. Damn, so dude. I don't know. I don't know if he did. I can't really say for sure. But well, at least enough girls thought the same, and he actually got charged for it. So that was one of my most cringeworthy stories, and I fucking hate thinking about that it's so disgusting but say you know what's crazy kayla is that my story is very fucking similar very so we similar. haven't heard each other okay no yet, so, so this is new um so um back when i first started modeling um once again naive i was super young um and this photographer from edmonton where i lived um hit me up on Instagram. He's like, yo, do you want to come shoot? I looked at this stuff and it was like phenomenal. From where? From Edmonton. Okay. So phenomenal. I was like, damn, okay, yeah, I really want to shoot with you. You make some really good content. And I was like, when are you free? He's like, oh, I'm only free tonight at like, I don't even know, like 8 p.m. At 3 a.m. <laughs> oh, it was like, it was pretty late to do a shoot, eight. And it was also like middle of winter. So in Edmonton, it's pitch black at that point. But I was like, I really need to shoot this dude. Like, his stuff is great. I want to get, like, these amazing photos that he's been taking. So I, I agreed to it. Because he's like, don't worry. I have a whole studio. I have lighting set up. Like, don't worry. The fuck Do you guys that? hear that? Literally, there's fireworks going. Okay, first of all, LA has the mo more pollution than it's ever had in history from all the fireworks from 4th of July. And there's <laughs> constantly fireworks constantly. going on. Just random. It sounds like gunshots. Fucking really terrifying. Jeez. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> um, so I go there. I get dropped off. My boyfriend at the time drops me off at his house. And he's like, um, please text me throughout so I know that you're alive. And I'm like, yeah, don't worry. You're good. You um, good. I show up. There's this probably honestly like 14-year-old girl there with her mom just finishing up a shoot like her mom's there like sitting in the corner observing the whole thing good i wish i brought my mom to all my shoot <laughs> right up Fuck. but um so i mean i was like okay this is kind of safe like that kind of made me feel safe that like her mom was there it was like a whole situation um they leave he starts talking to me same thing with you he immediately offers me some wine and i'm like sure like it's not uncommon to yeah. sometimes have a couple she drinks a and a shoot drink. like loosens you up a little bit it's it's normal so i was like okay sure i'll have a couple glasses like chill we started talking about what we um wanted out of the shoot and um once again i was naive and i was like i don't know i just want to take some dope shots i brought a couple outfits you know nothing too crazy so we start shooting and it started off super normal and um i was standing against a wall and like maybe a top like this like maybe with a little bit of under boot you're welcome people for asking who are asking for titties <laughs> <laughs> that that's as much as you can. Anyway, so the top was like <coughs> this, and this guy it was totally normal before this, mind you. Um, he just walks over to me and like lifts up my shirt more without even asking, just literally lifts it up, and I'm like looking at him. I'm like, okay, like maybe this is normal. Like I don't really know. I haven't done too many shoots, and he's like, are your boobs real? Like. How do they feel? Can I feel them? Shut up. Yeah, dude. That, and I was like, um, like, no, they're not real, but like, no, what? Obviously, and, they're not and real. And he's like, oh, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding, huh? And like, moved on with the conversation. While we're shooting, he casually mentions he's a high school principal. He's a high school principal in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. <laughs> fucking principal? He's a high school You're principal. Shitty. Yeah. And he's like, I was like, do you do this for work? And he's like, no, just for a hobby. I really like doing it. It's like my art. Um, we keep talking and I find out that the house that we're at, this beautiful house, he's like, yeah, this is my mom's house. I'm currently living in the basement um, just because of like financial reason, reasons, blah, blah, blah. Because I'm a creep. So already I'm like, okay, this dude's a high school principal. He's trying to touch my boobies. Living <laughs> in his mom's basement. Not that's a bad thing, but I'm just saying this whole combination of things was just starting to get creepy. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I'll slough it off. Whatever. We moved on to a couple rooms, got some like pretty good shots. It was normal. Um, we go down. He's like, here, let's shoot some like lingerie stuff um, downstairs on my bed. I'm like, okay, cool. Once again, fairly normal. Like, that's a normal thing. It's kind of normal. When you're yes. at a shoot location, yeah. like, you okay. go to different rooms. You shoot in different locations, yeah. different outfits. Yeah. So I switched the outfit. A lingerie makes sense. <laughs> switched the outfit and um, laid on the bed. And we start shooting different things. 
um, different like angles, blah, blah, blah. And um, for one of the shots, I wanted to take my top off because I, I used to, do, I still kind of do, but I used to do more implied stuff where I would just be covering my boob. And so I took my top off and I just had my- um, Just one boob? <laughs> both <laughs> boobs. <laughs> Um, I only have one boob, actually. Singular. <laughs> Singular boob. Boob. <laughs> one boob. Um, so, I'm laying on the bed. Actually, I can demonstrate for you. I was laying in this position and, um, laying off the bed like this. And, um, he was, uh, taking shots from this angle up. So he would get my whole body. Um, after a few clicks, he's like, all right, so now can you put a finger in? And I'm like... Excuse me. I was literally laying back and my eyes, as soon as he said that, my eyes were just like, like literally just like, I looked at the wall. I'm like, what the fuck? Like what the actual fuck? And I was like, no, like, I don't like do that kind of thing. Like I'm just here to take photos. And so he's like, oh yeah, no worries. No worries. Um, I, so I'm laying You're back. You're a high school principal. Dude. Okay. So my head was back over the bed. So I would, I couldn't see anything on the bed. I laid back. Um, I feel something on my body and I'm like, what the fuck is that? I like pull my neck up and look and this motherfucker has laid on top of me and is smelling my left no, hip. No, no. Dude, smelling. What? He's like, <laughs> and I look down and his face is there and he like tries to kiss me. And I literally shove him off me. I'm like, what are you doing? What, what the fuck are you doing? Keep in mind, this is a middle-aged dude, high school principal. I'm like, at this time, maybe 17, 18, maybe. You're like, fucking really young. kidding me. Like, I, I was probably honestly underage. I was pretty young. And he, like, tries to kiss me. Wait, you had fake boobs when you were 17? I got, yeah, I got my tits at 17. I think. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, it was after my boobs. So, 17, 18. Um, anyways, so he's, like, sniffing me. I push him off. I'm like, whoa. And at the time I was like so scared that I didn't even know how to react. So I hop off off the bed and I'm like, I think the shoot is done. Like, I just wanted to take pictures. Like I'm excited to see the pictures. Like obviously so naive. I didn't know like That's what to say. It, it's, you don't illegal. even, you can't even judge anyone for like not, so many people have gotten mad at me for not being like, fuck you, get off of me. But because if you're alone in you some it, strange man's house. There's different people though. There's like Flight or fight, and yeah. some people fight, and other people just. Oh no! Fight now I would fight. Now I'd fight, but at the same time, yeah. I'm a young girl when in you're some young. man's house. I was like, for all I know, he could pull a fucking like knife on me or something, right? Yeah. So I was like, let's just like end this amicably. I just want to get the fuck out of here. So I like grab all my shit, walk yeah. up. I'm like, thank you for shooting me. Like, I hope we got some good photos. I walk upstairs. He stays downstairs in the bedroom. I walk upstairs change while i'm changing i manically call my boyfriend at the time i'm like listen you gotta pick me up right now because he was like frantically texting me i didn't text him back once so i'm like you need to come right now and pick me up from this house and while i'm on the phone with him i hear a knock on the door and it's this dude being like like what are you doing is everything okay in there and i'm like yeah i'm fine like just getting dressed blah 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 and um i'm like so my ride's coming i'm gonna go sit on the couch um, and just wait for him. And so I sit there, um, and it was normal. He was, he disappeared for like five minutes. I'm like, okay, like maybe I'm safe. This motherfucker, guys, he literally five minutes later walks out. You know, those old school boom boxes that you would put on your shoulder. I'm, I couldn't make this shit up if I tried, dude. He walks out with a boom box on his shoulder playing like, um, R Rascal Flats or something like oh God, every what? long long stream let me do where I am I don't even know but it was like blasting and he's like yeah this shit just hits, hits me deep he like lays down on the couch next to me he's like yeah I like dedicate this to you <laughs> I'm sitting there like I'm gonna die this is it. I'm dying. This is this is how my life is gonna end. Listening to Rascal Flats <laughs> with the high school principal. With the high school principal, like fuck. Um. So, um. Moral of the story is my ride came and I skedaddled the fuck out of there. Got into my boyfriend's car and I'm like, I'm that never was doing another trauma again. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um. And after that, this dude changed. He deleted his Instagram account. 
changed his name. He moved to a different city, so I don't even know who the fuck he is. But yeah, super crazy. Wow. Our stories are actually pretty similar. But I mean, yours is way more intense than mine. <laughs> Dude, fuck up. Yeah, fucking crazy, man. It was intense. Okay. But girls, I don't even know what advice to give you because I Just mean, don't say yes when you're not comfortable with yeah. something. Like if if you feel a vibe when you go yeah. somewhere, you can feel a vibe. And if something's like, I think the way I've learned as I got older, the way you hold yourself and present yourself, and if you present yourself as a strong character, yeah. people are less likely to fuck with you or try to take advantage of you. So True. I don't know. And if you seem smart Hard and for wise, a young girl, and though. also not drinking on sets, like if yeah. I'm not, if, if I don't you don't really know them, know a photographer, you don't trust them. Yeah, and I built that trust with them. I. I mean, and actually, I thank you. Yeah, um, who is that? Mil Mil Gandog photography. Bring someone with you. Yeah. That's honestly a really smart idea. I've done that a couple times where I've actually brought my boyfriend yeah. with me when I started. Especially and a dude. it saved my dude. life. Yeah. It saved my life. For I had real. this one dude um, bring me into this creepy basement. Well, we always do photo shoots together now. Yeah, like we're like a duo. We do all but the photo shoots together. But when you're a young girl, together. bring a dude. Bring yeah. someone. Bring a guy friend. Um, because yeah, that saved my life. He's like, why'd you bring your boyfriend? I'm like, because we're in this city together. For this we're exact traveling. fucking reason that you would just ask me why I brought my yeah. boyfriend. Yeah. Don't let what? any photographer touch you unless they're asking. Photographers, don't touch any girl without asking. Don't fucking ask I mean, them to put a finger in. even if you don't have bad intentions, sometimes it can set the whole yeah. mood off if you it's touch crazy. somebody. Even just like slightly. Like, I actually, I like when people will like fix my hair yes. for me or if they're like, hey, but like first give them a warning like, hey, your hair is a little out of place. Hey, your tag yeah. is out. Hey, can I fix move the string it? in the back? Do yeah. you mind if I move it? Like just give them a warning. Let them know. Yeah. Like, or just ask them. It's their body, their property. Like you don't want to like kill the vibe of the whole so set. So Danica said in porn, it's not legal to bring someone with you. Is that, but like maybe that's like an actual professional set, but I don't know. But for like, like only fans and stuff like that? Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, like people in porn can still get violated. So and it's like, I feel hard. like you have to be porn, a tough motherfucker and be like, no, don't fucking touch me. I feel like even in porn though, like you're an actor on that set, and I bet if you negotiated or talked to the people, like, hey, I'm more comfortable bringing somebody, like if it's a high end prof professional production, they will would they would let you bring somebody ask the photo kelly d says ask the photographer if you can bring a friend if you can't pass on the pass on the shoot i agree yeah with that. And totally. kelly d you're a photographer in edmonton totally so i appreciate hearing a photographer say that you know it's like pretty normal especially for young girls like yeah. um if a photographer says that i can't bring someone with me that's a little suspect totally suspect like come on yeah. what like, like i get weird. you want to be in the like zone and the vibe and sometimes someone can ruin it danica says oh yeah it's always been best if you have an agency who knows the companies yeah for, for sure. sure but when you're like an instagram model or you're first starting up or, or first like starting yeah for young girls yeah it's just different like in the yeah. whole instagram social media world of things when you're not dealing with an agency and you're just like working with random photographers to like build your own personal brand yeah it can be really difficult when you don't have an agency doing those things for you um, but yeah, just in general, like bring someone with you, like, but my first shoot was a little sketch and also in a creepy alley. <laughs> there we go, Kayla, some similarities. Yeah. I don't know. For young girls, it's hard. Like you're yeah. really lucky. This sounds really bad, but it's honestly the truth. So men listen to this. You're really lucky if you are a female in the industry, whether it be, um, modeling or the adult industry and you have never had a creepy experience or like a molestation experience or someone try to like yeah. go farther. You're lucky because I most like girls I know in love have. with you and getting and like literally yeah. harassing you after yeah. a shoot and like yeah. you're like, what are you doing with my content? Yeah, dude. I could literally name out. like ten off my head that have been like hella creepy. Yeah. Probably more, to be honest. Alright. Um, anyways, so that got really dark and deep. They got real deep. But I don't think we intended for it to get that deep. But take our advice, people. <laughs> take your advice. It's there for you if you need it. We'll come up with some more advice. Why don't we just brainstorm on that? Yes. So, um, I don't know. Should we move on to the game? Should we? Let's do we want to move it to the fucked up show? Do we want to start the game Let's here do and move it? part of the game here so we can give the people some fucking... Great if shit. you're just tuning in, if you're a new follower and you haven't seen our live show, welcome. We usually do dares and get crazy. crazy. <laughs> okay, so, so the, this game that we're gonna start off with 
It's called the five second game. You can download it on your, I'm not paid for this, but you can download it on your phone. You ha- they basically should sponsor us. Have- Listen, five second game. They should actually sponsor us. I don't even know if we paid for this, but it's a great game. We <laughs> use it all the time. Um, so you basically have five seconds to answer a question. There's like a whole bunch of different categories. Of course, now I mean, Serena, we chose the triple X. Durr. And uh, rated R. So let's see what we got. Some of them will be like random basic ass questions. Mm-hmm. But so you answer the question in, in five, five seconds, seconds, and if you don't, you have to do a dare. So it's gonna get a little spicy. It's gonna get spicy. And if you guys I have dares spicy. that you want us to do, do um, y'all do guests? Yes, Danica, please. We love when guests join us because yes. it's more fun. And but you also have to do the dares. So are you up for it? You up? For are the you dares? as crazy as us? We would love that. Honestly, be our guest. Be all. Guest, guest to be our guest, guest put our service to the test. test. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so gonna kind of cut off here. All right. All right. So, so who is it first? You, of course. Okay. All right, Venus. Name three things that keep you warm during winter. Um, jackets, sex, and uh, plumping lip gloss. What? <laughs> what? Yes, because it's warm. It warms up your face. Does not keep you warm. Well, Mittens, a tuque, some boots, some uh, snow uh, pants, socks. And plumping lip gloss. No, that does not count. All of you on there. Does that count, guys? This is there, is these that, are all men. Most of them are men. Does so plumping they won't get lip it. gloss count as keeping you warm in the winter? Yes. First person, yes or no? No, because it's going to be all the... I talked private. What? Be Anyone. Right. Honestly. Respond if that is a... That's fair. Because it does keep me warm. What do you no, mean? No, it doesn't. Just because it doesn't keep you warm doesn't mean it doesn't keep me warm. Okay. Well, Perfect. Whatever. You All right. Have it. Kayla, thank you. <laughs> Fuck. Name three people that are going to hell. Go. Serena. Vitaly. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all we need. Facts. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry. Vitaly. <laughs> Threw you right under the bus. <laughs> it's okay, you ain't watching this. <laughs> Alright, S. Mm-hmm. Name three things that make guys horny. Uh, blowjobs, handjobs, dirty talk, um, pussy, boobs, nipples. Yep. See? <laughs> Horny's like the warm-up, though. Obviously, a blowjob is already hard. Pussy, boobs, nipples. Yeah. I'm... I'm just saying. <laughs> what Anything if there's socks? We got if it's so like a little answers. worm, but we're just <laughs> sometimes a blowjob will make you horny because it's like a soft little worm. You gotta <laughs> awaken the worm. Awaken <laughs> 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 the worm. <laughs> That's our name. Awaken the worm. Yeah, there we go. Awake in the worm, dude. Brilliant. What do you guys think? Anyways, name three places that have light bulbs. Go. Your bedroom, your car, your bathroom. Yeah. Something you have to know, guys, is Kayla always gets the best fucking questions that are so easy. Sometimes Serena really gets fucked with this game. Yep. And it's really fun. Most of the time. Although, I usually get all the synonyms or something. and I Oh, oh shit. I fucked up. Okay, Weenus. Name three objects you can make from paper. Paper plane, uh, paper hat, and a, um, <laughs> dare. Baked. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. All, All right. right. So give me a dare. She gets an option between two dares. I'm ready. I dare you to squirt a condiment of your choice in your mouth okay. for three seconds. Ew. Okay. Or take your underwear off and use it as a mask. <sighs> Which one would you guys choose? What do you guys Serena want me loves to her do? pussy, so I feel like she might use that one. Best mask. I've already been using my panties as a mask this whole quarantine. What are you talking about? Well, then choose the difficult one. <laughs> Give the people what they want. All right. For how long, though? Three seconds. One, Mississippi. Two, two Mississippi. Three, Mississippi. You want to see me take it off? Click the link in my bio. <laughs> in the bio. <laughs> Alrighty. Yep. Yep. Putting my pants back on. She's putting her 
pants back on. Do you remember that one time we did a live and I was actually flashing my pussy the entire like, <laughs> yeah. first five minutes of the I live? I shouldn't say that on Instagram, but fine though. <laughs> True. This one time we did a live and Serena was wearing a skirt without underwear. Yeah, and my whole pussy was in Then we realized after the show that her pussy was on the entire fucking Instagram live. Alright, so currently I'm wearing a G-string. So, let's uh... Honestly, like, not the ugliest mask. It's kind of cute. It kind of looks like a dick it on your face. Smells great. Alright. Mm. Mm. Oh. Okay. So this is perfect. Name three ABBA songs. Oh, fuck off. I don't know a single ABBA song. I'm gonna just quit while I'm ahead. Um, fuck you, Serena. Um, I love pussy. <laughs> Those Negative. <laughs> Negative. Alright, what are my dares? Alright, so I'm gonna give you your dare, but I'm gonna give you your dare on um, the fucked up show's Instagram page. So if you want to see the dare that I'm about to do, shit's about to get even more intense, go over to the fucked up show on Instagram, fucked up, it's spelled F-C-K, alright? So the tag is in Serena's story. It's also in my personal story and my Instagram. In case anyone on her page is not following me, is Kayla underscore B underscore fit. You can also find my tag in Serena's story. We yes. are gonna go over and continue these shenanigans on SK's fuck up show. Okay, so go to the fucked up show, and I'm gonna think of some. Funny, there's. I'm so excited for I'm Kayla. Excited. Um, so I'm gonna log out I'm now nervous. and log in back there. Go follow and come watch. Bye.